Today we'd like to talk about the five reasons to just say no and how you can live a better, healthier, happier life. Be sure to stay to the end and hear about some free workshops that are coming up. Hey everyone, welcome to Wake Up Wednesday. This is the place where we get to talk about everything and anything to help you unlock your full potential. Reason number five is overwhelm. So when we look at overwhelm, we are generally overextending ourselves. It's generally that time that we are people pleasing, where we're saying yes to everything and we're not really focused on what is right for us or what we truly need. I know for me, um, I was definitely a people pleaser. I would do, you know, things to help people out because I didn't want to say no, right? I wanted them to like me. I wanted them to think I was a good friend or a good family member. And so I would go about doing these things and at the end of the day, I would be tired and exhausted. And then in some cases, I would feel like I failed because I didn't get to focus on the things that I wanted to do that day or that felt good for me. And so when we say no, we are avoiding that overwhelm and we're able to focus on those things that we want. Now, don't get me wrong. It's all great to help your friends out or your family out or to be around people who are inspiring and supportive and helpful for you. But you gotta make sure that you are doing the things that are right for you, because that is what's gonna help you move into the person who you wanna be and hit the goals that you wanna hit. What it does show them is that you respect yourself and you respect your priorities and your dreams. And that is what's gonna elude that confidence, not only to them, but to you you'll start to feel it and own it and live in it. And that is what you need to help you strive for who you want to be. Reason number three, flourishing relationships. So when you are able to set some very clear boundaries with people, your relationships will flourish, at least the ones that you need. Because what happens is sometimes people demand you. They want your time. They think they're in control of your time, right? No, they're not. Only you can control your time. Only you have that right to choose where you wanna be, who you wanna be with, and what you wanna do. It is your right. It is your human right to control your time. Nobody else's. So you want to make sure that you're setting very clear boundaries with people of letting them know when they can talk to you, when they can see you, when you're going to hang out with them and when you're not. When you set clear boundaries, you are protecting yourself. And let me tell you, taking care of yourself is number one. You can't take care of anybody else. You can't do what you want to do in this life if you don't take care of yourself. And, and that's in a number of different ways, whether that's in your mind, in your body, with your health, whether that's spiritual, whatever it is, you need to take that time to focus on you in whatever aspect that is. You have to take control of your life and your time. And when you're able to do that, people will see that, people will respect that. And if they don't, I'm sorry, they need to go. They need to move on and they need to go find somebody else. I don't know about you, but there's time vampires in this life that I've definitely come across. And they wanna sit there and chat with you or they wanna hang out with you. But to be honest, it's not that I don't like you. It's not that I don't wanna hang around with you. It's simply that there's things that I wanna do and it's my life. So, sorry. I know that sounds brutal. I know that sounds harsh, but it's our lives. It's my life. It's what I want to do. It's who I want to be with. It's who I want to hang around with and when I want to hang around with them. Simply stated, much harder to do 
Don't get me wrong, I understand that. But when you can start saying no in five, four, three different ways already, you'll start to see that those things will start to become much clearer and much easier for you. And so when you start making those decisions and when you start saying no more often, it's gonna be easier and it's gonna be less. You're not gonna have all that chatter around you anymore. The number two reason to just say no is to find those opportunities and to discover new things. When you are not worried about having to do this or having to that, having to go here, having to go there, because all these other things are demanding your time, you're able to focus on what you want and where you wanna go, what you wanna see, and opportunities to see those things that might not have been possible. I know for me, when I was uh, relieved of myself from an activity that was just demanding of my time and my attention and was not really a focus that I had in my life and was not really part of where I was going and what I wanted to do, when I released that, let it go, I was able to discover some really cool things that I never, ever would have been able to explore. And it's simply because they were both at the same time. The activity that I was doing on a regular basis on the same day at the same time, week in and week out, was at the same time as these other things were happening. I didn't even know, I didn't even know that they existed. I didn't even know that they were out there. And so once I relieved myself from that, from that activity that wasn't serving me any longer, I was able to go out and explore these new adventures. And they have been fabulous. They have been exciting. And they're helping me grow. And part of my healthcare, part of my mind, body, spirit connection that I need in order to continue to become the best version of myself. And it's just been awesome. And so you, once, you, once you release those things that are kind of holding you back by not saying no, you're able to discover some amazing things that are meant just for you. So are you ready for it? The number one reason to just say no. Take control of your life. Once you're able to say no, to set boundaries and to be clear on what you want to do, where your focus is, what your priorities are, where you're going, in whatever way that may be, whether personally, professionally, whatever it is, you begin to take control of your life. Because my friends, we only have this one life here on planet Earth and we've got to live it the way we want to live it. Time is precious, so don't waste it. If we waste our time going here and going there, saying, oh, maybe I can make that, or maybe I'll go do this. No, you're distracting yourself from what you're focused on, from where you wanna go, who you wanna be, what you wanna do. You know, the other day, I was talking to a client and she was telling me how, you know, she wasn't able to make these sales calls because she had to go and attend this event that is part of her past, is part of her old life and her old self-image. She went because she felt obligated to go because she had always gone. It was something she did every year for the past I don't know, 10 years or so. And it was hard for her to say, no, this doesn't fit into my life anymore. She didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. And so she went and by going, she didn't make the sales calls that she wanted to make. She didn't get the prospects and has no meetings and had to stress out over it the past couple of days to try to catch up for that time that she missed. Now, I understand that events happen. I understand that things come up, but if these things are not serving you, 
then people need to understand that and respect that. And when people don't respect that, I'm sorry, but you, they gotta go. They gotta get out of your life. You gotta set really, really firm boundaries that are way out. Boundaries that are really close to you, people can knock down. When you set them out really far, they're a lot harder to get to, right? So when you're looking at you know, setting these boundaries and starting to say no, respecting yourself, gaining that confidence, that, my friends, is when you're able to take control of your life. And you can, you can absolutely take control of your life. Nobody, nobody has the right to tell you what you can and cannot do. Only you. So you focus on what is right for you and make it happen. Plain and simple, make it happen. Start by saying no to those things that do not serve you, that are no longer part of who you want to be, who are, if it could be your past, and I understand that, but that's not who you are now. Focus on who you are now and where you're going and what you're doing. All right, let's recap our five reasons to just say no. Number five was overwhelm. Number four is gain more confidence. Number three is start to have flourishing relationships. Number two is new opportunities you never even knew were there. And number one, the most important, take control of your life. All right, so I wanted to tell you guys about some great training that I am going to be putting on over the next month or so. So there is a link, go ahead and check it out at the bottom here, training that'll be coming up and how to get signed up for it. As always folks, if you can create it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. So be you and be amazing.